the return again and again and again and again what I've been up to it's been like almost two weeks since the last video as of posting well first I decided okay I'm gonna take a like just a few days break from video stuff just a few days and then nearing the end of the last day of that little break I got sick and I felt like crap so then I was responsible and I said no more no videos until I feel better because sick and videos is an awful combo I felt dreadful just a cold thankfully but still kicked my ass a wee bit in still got stuff done here and there but kind of lightweight so took a short little video break got sick forced myself to take another break until I got better I'm better now here we are um I think I have to make the shell for this floor me thinks something like that simple enough oh wow wow Oh, well, well. Eh, it doesn't matter. That high, it's kind of whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm like 99.9% .9 feeling better since dealing with sicky stuff recently. Got like a little bit of mucus left over, but just just tiny bit. Nothing to worry about. Wada wada wada. Uh, it's Easter as I record this. It's Easter. Easter time. Uh, we didn't really do shit for Easter. Everyone was just kind of getting over their own sicky stuff in the time leading up to it. A couple folks dealing with work shit once the sickiness passed. Kind of getting back to the regular groove, so didn't do much for Easter. It's also as I record this. Fucking, uh, motherfucking T Dove, March 31st, as I record this. Trans Day of Visibility, baby. That's fucking nice. I'm visible. I'm trans. A little bit of trans. I'm binary. Trans femme. What have you. Yada yada. Uh, I celebrated by treating myself to a glass of cold milk. Mixed with a uh, fucking chocolate syrup and a little bit of uh, cinnamon sugar. That was nice. I also had a couple sandwiches earlier that were really fucking good. I put some fucking guacamole on them. It was fucking wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess when this video goes up, it'll be April Fool's Day. Do I got anything planned? No. I mean, I did a drawing for April Fool's Day, but um, it was a horny drawing. So, that's that. Womp womp. But nah, I don't really have much really quote unquote planned for April Fool's Day. It's funny because this video is technically when it uploads and goes public, the April Fool's Day video, but I ain't doing shit. I don't wanna. I'm gonna do my own thing. It does remind me though. What April Fool's Day shit? Let's see. What have I noticed leading up to it? Uh, I see Mega64 is talking about their old Doug Huggum video again. And they said, oh, Doug Huggum's gonna be released for reals on fucking March 31st. And then March 31st, as I record this, came around. They said, oh, we're going to make it even better. We're going to release it on Monday. But we're not going to say what Monday is because wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So hopefully that means I got like some funny video or something planned. I wasn't able to connect. Yeah, I wasn't able to catch tonight's Mega 64 podcast. So I don't know if they did any April Fool's Day shit for it, even though it'd be the day before the fools. Uh, okay, that's simple. Tumblr's doing some sort of shit where it's just like fucking... I don't know, it's some like rinky-dink little fucking meter. You can tell I don't give a shit about it. And that I've already disabled it by the way I'm describing it. But it's some little meter on Tumblr at the top of your dashboard that says how many blogs you quote-unquote booped. And it's just like, yeah, okay, whatever, shrug. I don't know. 
Maybe if I was like a young teenager I'd care, but at 26, I'm a different breed of silly and goofy. That shit means nothing to me, man. That shit means nothing to me. But it's a harmless April Fool's Day thing. It's kind of just like, shrug, who cares? Past that, I haven't seen any sites really doing April Fool's Day shit. Speaking of sites, uh, I'm fucking... I gotta look how this is set up. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm fucking, for better or worse, back on Twitter, which I don't... I don't know if I was... if I mentioned this in a previous video or not. I probably didn't, if it was a Sam and Max one. If I already mentioned this, then... Oh well, I mentioned it again because... Fuck it. Um, but I don't think I did. Anyway. I'm fucking... Back on Twitter again after taking a... Long fucking break from it and previously nuking... Accounts that I actually used. And it's been an... Experience. Um... I guess how I use Twitter in fucking... March 2024 has just been okay. Alright, uh, there's a whole bunch of stupid UI elements for, like, AI shit, and fucking premium advertisements, and this and that, and I'm looking at it, and I just go, nah, I don't want to deal with any of that. So a lot of Twitter UI elements, I just hit that shit with fucking element blocker, so I don't gotta see that shit at all, and it's not even selectable or anything, so that's nice. Um... Selective with who I'm following, just because I don't want my dash to become an overwhelming fucking mess. But also, curating one's dash is important, I don't want to be seeing stupid shit. I.e. fucking just... Constant fucking misery 24-7, discourse about shit that doesn't matter in the real world. Yada yada. Just kind of focusing on, like... Occasional, uh, following people who do occasional posts that I think are cool, or maybe I'm even friends with. And then past that, just following artists who post shit regularly, or at least, uh, post shit occasionally and aren't just, like, reblogging shit 24-7. I'm a curious case in this because I post shit every day in terms of art. And any other shit I work on, but also I do be reblogging, retweeting, I should say, shit a lot. Tragic. But also, I'm allowed to curate my feed. <laughs> anyway, past that, I ain't touching the Twitter app, because last I touched it probably back in, I don't even know if it was 2023 or 2022. All I remember is that it was an adscape ad ridden nightmare is kind of like how tumblr's app is so didn't bother touching that i just used a fucking firefox built-in browser it for it which works perfectly fine and has no ads whatsoever which is so sexy no random shit either it's just my fucking feed oh yeah twitter experience in the oh i sure as hell didn't catch this last time Huh. This could be one of those things where it's just like luminous. Maybe if you read the comments, someone would be like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Oh well, me fix it now. Something something Twitter. It's an alright experience for me. I think I'm playing it careful enough in 2024 that it's not making me mad and I don't have to see stupid bullshit. Oh wow wow. Let me get this shit fixed. Whoop. Plus the, bo uh, the bonus of only having one single account. And if you stumble upon... Or rather, I guess if you look into my Twitter account, um, be warned. Porn. I don't care. I do what I want in my life. Womp, womp. What else on the mind? Hopped back on Twitter for better or worse, yada yada. Nearly fully 100% recovered from sickness stuff, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, that's just a flat ass wall, okay. 
which should be there. Okay. Uh, these are for me. Not really much going on with me, my roommates, my partner. My partner's at work right now. I think roommates are watching fucking Star Wars movies. Or some Star Wars shit. Uh, me doing video right now. Uh, prior to sick stuff, I kept doing good on making a daily game dev work for, I think I got at least six or seven days of daily game dev work for my, uh, one text adventure fucking game, uh, Hollow Discharge. So that was nice earlier in the month getting six, six to seven days in a row of daily work on the game. Very proud of the progress I'm making. Uh... And then I had to take a break once the sicky stuff kicked in badly. Uh, and then once I've gotten period of like, okay, I think I kind of recovered from the sicky stuff. I then tried something different where I'm just like, you know what? Let me give myself an extra breather from working on Hollow Discharge. Let me just try to make like a lightweight fucking game thing just to get something. Something out that I'm proud of that isn't going to fucking work me to the bone, since it's been probably, what, a year or two years, maybe, depending since my last game. I'm not 100% sure. It's just, okay. I, what, I release three games, and then I go a year, two years, without fucking much else to show for it? It's just like, ah, oh, game development takes years, depending on the progress, but it's just like, fuck. The things I'm making is not, like, super, super, super high effort. So I shouldn't be fucking taking that fucking long, so... I've been messing around in, uh, I first messed around with a fucking engine, browser-based kind of game engine thing. This is right. Three, okay. I messed around with the browser sort of base engine fucking Bitsy. This is a little, like, a little simple little engine. Like, making, like, little fucking, I think, like, 16? Question mark? Either 8 or 16 bit sprites. I think it might be... I think it might be 8-bit sprites. And you know, that's a bit fun. But I should say, I messed around in Bitsy for a bit. It was alright. I got recommended uh, a fan continuation of it that tried to, like, make shit a little bit more accessible and uh, not a pain in the ass to use. Looked into a thing, fan, whatever you would call it, browser engine called Bipsy. I went from Bitsy to Bipsy, and at first messing with Bipsy on Wine Night, I was like, oh shit, this is cool, but also, oh fuck, I'm trying to do too much at once, bouncing between, oh, let me try out this engine, let me try out this engine, and then I got overwhelmed. But, then I gave it another shot the next day, and I was liking it, and then I kind of dabbled more with it, and more with it, and now I'm like, I'm like, I think three, three or four days, I think three. Three days of making a game in the Bipsy, B-I-B-S-I engine. So that's fucking fun. What a fun little thing. I'm working on a game in that engine called Shifts, as in like work shifts. But the game is just called Shifts. And uh, yeah, I think I want to get the game to at least like, okay, let me get like a small little world you can explore that's at least worth maybe Three en endings at the minimum. It's just a simple little thing of just walk around, go from room to room, check out little objects to interact with, check out people to talk to, interact with, just going from room to room. No, no, uh, no locked doors to worry about for the player, no combat shit, none of that, just... I don't know if I'd say a walking sim, because... I don't know if my brain fully understand what is versus isn't a walking sim, but, I don't know. Like, the small little bite-sized kind of tiny game that you can just throw in a fucking play in the browser on a fucking itch.io. Maybe spend, like, ten minutes, maybe less, maybe like a half hour. Kind of nothing, nothing too big. Like, I can't imagine, like, one to two hour of gameplay stuff. One hour would be, like, fucking pushing it. Just something small, lightweight. And you know what? It's good that I'm messing around in this Bipsy game engine. Because I gotta do little 8-bit sprites. 
that has a little sprite editor in the engine, it's like, okay, this will give me practice for when I go full steam into the RPG Maker game later, later on. And it's like, okay, doing a little bit of map making shit too. Alright, that'll give me fucking practice for when I do it on a bigger fucking scale for RPG Maker as well. So it's like, it's nice, nice. Figure out how the rooms all connect, setting up little visual fucking things like, okay, this, this thing, this sprite's a person, sprite's an object, nice, nice. Uh, with the Bipsy, I'm doing fucking proper, making one's own simple little tiles and all that, but when I do an RPG Maker MV thing, I'll make sprites for the characters. I don't know if I'll be doing sprites for the fucking tile set. I guess I don't know if I'll be doing a tile set, I should say. Because that would be a mountain of work in comparison. I'm probably just going to see what free-to-use ones online folks have put out and then credit them properly within the game itself. Oh yeah. Bipsy engine. Fun. Fan offshoot of the Bitsy engine. Fun. Making shifts. A simple tiny game in the Bipsy engine. Fun, fun, fun. Fun times. You know, I was a little bit late to recording this video because I was finishing working on shit for the game in said engine. Fun, fun. Now, we are tending to just the fake floor on a Minecraft unfinished hotel. And are these all just... Ooh, okay, okay. So this one has to be like that. Okay. Are the rest of these just up. Ah, I see you. Okay. That's split in half. Okay. And then what else we got here? Yeah, see one right here. Which one are you? You're there. Oh, uh, and then you are are you literally right oh what the fuck happened here okay so i messed up a little thing right there it's fine I can fix it. that's just a two it's just a two okay yeah. don't know what happened there. oh did i fuck it up here oh i see my error um hmm Let's see, I might make some changes. I'm thinking... Honestly, let's change this up. I think it's better what I was doing originally for up here. What I was doing up here versus originally down there. Okay, okay. That's from... Okay, so we want to get rid of this one. And then this is, ah, this is supposed to be here. Okay, I see my error. Now, why was that like that? I don't know, actually. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we want to remove this part, which means we're also going to remove here. I, I guess that one doesn't look there, but. Okay. And then we're gonna have to do it on the other side too, but figure this out. Okay, did we just we remove that one entirely? Does that stay there? Yes, okay, so we just move this one entirely. And then we gotta make sure that there, that there. That goes down to here, which I don't think lie down here. That's fine. Uh, 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 boop, boop. Okay. I think this is all looking correct now, I think. And then we gotta fix on the other side. Oop. That part. This area doesn't matter because we're covering this later. Right, okay. Okay, then we want to remove, remove this part. This one there. And then we want to expand this there. I 
I think we golden. We golden? I think we go up. Oh. I think we golden there. Okay, so now we gotta fix it on this side too. And then we'll get back to working on the actual walls for the false floor, second floor. What have you? Okay, we want to remove you. We'll remove you. Okay. We want to remove you. Uh huh. Uh huh. And what do we have to fix? I want to remove you. Me be focused. Me making fixes. You know what? No, I like this little random window. Kind of funny. Um. All right. What else we gotta fix? Uh. Aha! I see. This should go. Here. Oops. Um, what else? The one put right here, it looks like. And then this one is clear entirely. Golden. Okay, now try to get back to here. Basically, I wish I could continue it from there. This, I believe, is just filled up completely, right? Yes, okay. Same for over here, right? Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I see why I have. Is that also the same over here? doesn't go to anything so I think... yeah I guess because I kept it the same there okay uh this one we just want to cover completely that let's say it's just fucking fully across we figuring it out we're making progress um has been on the mind or been in the wacky wacky world one's interests yada yada um I'm thinking the fuck I'm gonna have to light this up at some point you were just gonna fuck it hello fill this up um I don't know in terms of music I mean there was a thing where I think, I forget how recently it was, but I do remember seeing a thing from Childish Gambino around the fourth anniversary of his fucking three fifteen twenty album slash Donald Glover presents whatever you want to call it. Uh, I guess he was tweeting, uh, teasing, I should say, a fucking. I don't know. Hard to tell if he was teasing like. A redone version of the album where he was gonna title it Ada Vista, give it a fucking proper cover art that is, I mean, it's AI art shit, but it's just like rug, fucking whatever, you can easily just replace that in the tags. Um, and it seemed like it had like a different track list where at least, okay, Human Sacrifice, that fucking 
unreleased, currently leaked in many forms track was on fucking Gambino's own fucking local fly local files album, what do you call it? Version of Atavista. Which that'd be interesting to see in a release form. And I think I think there was like a couple tracks removed from it or some shit. Compared to the regular 31520 release. Which is interesting. Uh I don't know. He kind of teased it and then so far it seems like nothing's come from it. But you know what? I decided after waiting a bit, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'ma do my own thing. I'ma take 31520. I'ma slap the Adavista name on it and I'ma fucking redo. We do the track listing stuff to what I think would be better. And that's like, okay, let's throw the solo leaked version of the Childish Gambino track Warlords. Let's throw that one in there. Let's fucking throw This Is America on there. We'll throw fucking Summertime Magic. Uh, feels like Summer was already on there, which I think I just used the album version instead of the EP version. Fucking, uh, I threw Saturday on there, the fucking leaked version of that. I threw Human Sacrifice on there. And I handled the shit where fucking this track Why Go to the Party. Uh, I left that one in full as is. Niffly. <laughs> and then, uh, fucking... I followed it up with, I think the latest finished version of, uh, his track Human Sacrifice, but I did as much clean editing as I could to cut out the fucking why go to the party intro from it. Just that way, just so it fucking transitions more smoothly. I still kept shock in there because, of course, I think I don't know. I try to do the transitions between tracks as best as I can if moving shit around for my bootleg Atavista version personal version Childish Gambino's 315-20 album uh, oh yeah I threw in the version of Algorithm uh, I spliced in the fucking cut preacher outro from one of the leaks onto the finished version of Algorithm which is nice nice uh, oh yeah, I got for this here. Music, bootleg stuff. I'm a little bit rambly, losing my thoughts, trained thoughts here and there, trying to figure out the words. That's okay. I'm just a little sleepy. I worked out a lot today. Did the funny dishes. Dealt with the trash. Had to get rid of some fucking moldy rice that caught the household by surprise. Airy. Uh, okay, I did do that there as well. Fucking... We got this all taken care of? Can I start doing the roofing? I think so. Uh, I did a drawing for April Fool's Day tomorrow. I already said that, I think. Uh, ba 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 ba. What else? I do the lights in there, beautiful. Uh, fucking, yeah, I worked on game stuff. Oh, I started writing a new short story. That was fun to do. Whole gaggle of stuff. Now, I think I'm ready to put the roofing for the fake floor. And make sure, okay, so it is on this second one, okay. So, it's gonna be a little bit of tight squeeze, but I think we can make it work, so let's just put this whole thing down first. Video's gonna slow down a bit. I place all this shit, but it's fine. Hey, no worries. We Gucci. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think after I get done recording this video, I'm gonna have me some fucking strawberry yogurt. Maybe throw some granola pieces in there if we still got any left. It'd be yummy. It'd be yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Block placing noises. My favorite point of this is uh, seeing both in real time and in the video. They're just points where the fucking blocks are just invisible as I place them until 
they load in. Funny. This. The true laptop fucking video gaming, what you would call it, experience, baby. Will it ever get better? I don't know. I'm gonna fucking keep using this laptop until I can. I'm not made of money. Yeah. Imagine being made of money. That'd be crazy. Could never be me. But also, maybe someday if we save up enough, probably let five years go by from now at the least. Maybe my partner can get me a fucking new computer whenever that happens. That'd be like, yeah, at least five years of the minimum from now. No, if I can push this thing for a long fucking time, like a fucking decade plus, shit, I'd do it. I am, I am very much immune to having to have the latest fucking tech shit. Shit, my fucking smartphone is still from fucking, I don't know, 2015 I think, so it's coming up on a decade. This laptop's a 2021 laptop, thankfully, but the one I was using prior to this was a fucking 2013 laptop until I had to switch in 2021. Make the most of it. I think in terms of consoles and shit, and I'm just thinking now. It's just like, okay. The PS4? PS4 was pretty fucking fun. We still have ours. Been pretty fun. What did I play on that PS4 in our, like, a few rooms away from me right now? Fucking household PS4. I fucking played, uh... MGS5, both Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain on it. Played it to, like, main story completion. Didn't 100% it because, good lord, too hard. I played Mafia 3 to 100% completion. That was fucking fun on the PS4. Uh, bu 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 bu. What else? Played fucking Yakuza 7 like a dragon on the PS4. Fucking stellar, though I had to stop at one point because, oh lord, that's a lot of game. And, uh, trying to 100% Yakuza 7 like a dragon on your first playthrough, um, not a smart idea. But I tried anyway, and I got, I think I hit, like, a little bit over halfway through the main story while trying to do as much shit as possible in between. Played the FNAF Security Breach and Ruin both on the PS4. That was fucking fun. Um, okay, I'm like fighting for my life, okay. How many? One, two, three. And then this one is like right there, I think. Oh god, this other one. Yes. You know what? Let's just... Let's just do this. Uh, what else did I play on the PS4? I played Elden Ring on the PS4, but I'm gonna be real with you, I did not give a shit about Elden Ring. Uh, not for me. I don't know. I just kinda got bored. Uh, it didn't really grab me at all. That's not like a, like, oh, it was too hard thing, it was like, nah, I was, I'm perfectly happy with the difficulty. That's some good handling of difficulty, but I got bored. Uh... And there was a handful of other fucking games I played on the PS4 over the past, I think, two years. You know what? Good console. Fucking... Whether it's buying games, or fucking... Um, when we had PlayStation Gold. It was good fucking times. But then I'm thinking of, like, other modern consoles. Like, okay. I think of the fucking... Uh, oh god, I don't know where the fuck I left off. I think of the fucking PS5, and it's just like, there is no reason for me to get a PS5, like, in my lifetime. I do not give a shit about the PS5. It is just a nothing console. Whoa! That jump scare. I really don't give a shit about the PS5, man. There's like, I don't know. There's no, like, interest in wanting to get it. No exclusive, really, shit to care about. Especially in the ages we're moving away from exclusives. More and more. Fucking... I don't know. And it's like, oh, it's got more power in this. It's just like, I don't care, really? I don't know. 
And I know there's gonna be a point when, like, there's only gonna be shit on the PS5, but it's just like, I don't know. In an age where shit's also coming to fucking PC so often, it's just kinda like, rug. Why should I care about the console? And I mean, shit. Worst matters would be fucking Xbox. I have not given a shit about Xbox since 360. I just haven't cared. I can at least say I've seen a fucking Xbox One. Have I seen anything past that? No. Like in person? No. I haven't seen a PS5 in person yet, but I don't think I will because none of my friends have it. They don't really care to play it, get it, and all that. I think of the Switch, and it's just like, the Switch is just a flat, it's alright. There are some games I had fun, wait, is this fun playing on for the Switch, but I haven't really picked it back up in recent-ish months, and I can easily do it at any time, we've got it nearish by, but I don't know. I tried playing fucking Breath of the Wild, well, yeah, Breath of the Wild, the first one. But also the only Breath of the Wild one. It was alright. It was a pretty, pretty fun game to a point. But then I got myself burnt out on it. And I have just not turned to it since. Um, I saw Tears of the Kingdom stuff in brief. And, in brief, and I just kind of thought, I don't care. I'd rather, if you're going to make me choose between that and Breath of the Wild, I'll just play Breath of the Wild so I already own it. For completion. I kind of don't really want the same thing again for that one. Kind of, whatever. All the fucking Gmod edition shit. Like, it was funny to see in videos at first, but then after a while I was like, eh, I really wouldn't want to deal with this in fucking gameplay mechanics in a Zelda game. It was kind of be like, eh. Uh, do I got all of these? Okay, so... Uh... And I mean, there's gonna be a Switch 2 or Pro, or whatever you call it, at some fucking point. It's kind of like... I think that'll be good for the Switch, because Nintendo shit's always been underpowered, but I don't really feel inclined to get one. I think the magic of consoles, for the most part, is kind of worn off for me. The PS4 was fun, but I mean... I still spend... Any time doing gaming shit, most of that gaming time is... Under computer. Fuck, I had fun... When the fucking Nintendo was gonna fucking... Start killing off the eShop shit for fucking 3DS, I had fun going back to 3DS shit. You know what? I had a lot of fun doing the homebrew shit. Yummy, yummy. I love legally acquiring games. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah. I feel like at some point, Microsoft and fucking Sony are gonna show off whatever the fuck their Switch adjacent console mobile hybrid shit's gonna be. It'll be interesting, but I kind of shrug for caring about it. I think the magic of even watching fucking game conferences is kind of worn off for me. Even, like, fucking little Nintendo ones, kind of just like, eh, whatever. I don't know. Oh, shit, I didn't do anything on this side. Okay, uh... Break down from here. Break down from here. Oh. Here. Nipply. Nipply. You know what I really gotta start looking into? I just gotta say, bite the bullet and just fucking look through what itch.io games I already have downloaded and be like, you know what? Let me just fucking do video shit for these. Fuck it, see where it takes me. I'm gonna have to hold myself to actually beating them. Which I know in some cases it might beat my ass, but... Make it work. Uh... I need to look more into itch.io games and a lot of indie games, just fucking in general. And I mean the real deal indie games, like... Small fucking teams, small budget sort of shit. But I feel like what's considered quote-unquote indie these days is getting a little bit questionable. Like, fucking Baldur's Gate 3, Larian is somehow considered 
indie. And it's like, I feel like at that point, it's like, shit, we need to re- We need to revise this shit. Fucking, I don't know, do we just bite the bullet and just say, okay, let's just go full steam ahead into that fucking... Double A gaming, do we make a new term? Fuck, it's gonna be a bitch to deal with. I don't know. We need to look more into real deal indie games. I do at some point. Since I played fucking... Which was it? Did I play Crypt... I think I played Crypt World or Crypt Underworld? I think I played Crypt... World on here? Whatever the first one was. And that was fucking fun. And you know, the second one's been out. And I've had... Did I have a copy of it saved? I forget. I might have. Also... Who cares about the placement on these? But you know what? I really, really, really want to do a fucking video sometime. Fucking Crypt Underworld, Squeakwool, yada yada. And it's been more than enough time has passed since it's released, so I think any bugs would have been ironed out, and if there's any changes made for the better, it'll be in the game by now. I still want to do, after I get the Sam and Max shit done, which... Next video, I am going to go full steam ahead into Season 2 for the Telltale shit. Which will probably be, uh, as of recording, it'll probably be tomorrow, which will be when this Minecraft video will come out, so then I'll record Sam and Max stuff in the night. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's start putting this up, I think. Right? Yeah! He thinks. Alright, is that just... Just snaking around, I think. So it's just that. But uh, after I do the Sam and Max shit, I still very much intend for my next big playthrough thing, aside from the secondary stuff, to be that fucking nameless mod, that Deus Ex standalone mod, and the modern version of the mod, which I've already played through the modern one on my own time, so I know what I'm in for, and I've done the recording test, yada yada yada. That'll be fun. That'll be real fun. There'll be a caveat to the fun. There'll be a great test of the person's, uh, the viewer's patience for a certain thing, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But yeah. Uh, I think this one... Uh, okay, we cut it off there. Uh, Am I doing this right? Yeah, I think so. You know what, in retrospect, it's stupid. This part's kind of stupid. Art, I don't like it. Ooh. Yeah, I like it better with that part removed. Okay, uh, let me go fix it here before I forget. You can hear the do dogs from next door howling again. Leads into my mic now and then, maybe right now especially. That's because I got a window open, because I gotta stay cool in these hot times. But yeah, yeah. Luminous, please, dear God, look more into fucking itch.io shit and actually do videos on them. Please, dear God. Let's plays. In terms of videos. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Continuing here. Continuing here. In terms of upcoming music releases, I got looking forward to, because I'm just thinking of another topic. Uh, not really sure. I gotta fucking look back into it, because I've been putting off looking into it. I gotta see one band, Gold Connections, that shared any new info about when their next album's gonna drop. And knowing me, there is a chance. There is a chance. It's already dropped and my stupid ass missed it, but I'm pretty sure I got notifications on for and they post shit to fucking band camp. I don't think I've missed it, but there is a chance. I might have missed the announcement about the fucking release date. Some shit, but yeah. But yeah, I think that's the only thing I got looking forward to in the year in general would just be Gold Connections fucking 
Fortune album, if it's still called that, unless the name changed. What is that? Uh, oh. Got a full wraparound here, so let's do wraparound here. Making good progress. I'm making tremendous progress in this hotel, finally. Slowly but surely, we're fucking getting there. Like, ah. Oh. All the... All three of the floors with the fucking guest rooms and shit, they're all fucking done. Thank God. Let me fix that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of half considering calling it soon, but also just like, eh, I might as well at least push through to the hour mark. Which we're not at on my end, at least. Got a sea of redstone. Torches, even. Kind of still want to do more game dev tonight, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just chill. Maybe I'll be a slut. Maybe I'll eat my yogurt. Maybe I'll watch a video. Maybe I'll set up art plans for the coming days. Maybe I'll just do a fucking random art piece for the night just for the hell of it. Maybe I'll do everything and everything and everything and everything and everything and everything and everything. Oh, it's coming together. Um, let's keep the train rolling. Fucking, I'm just gonna fucking fill this up. Yeah. I don't want to handle this. Though. I guess if I've been doing this for those parts, I should just keep doing it. I think it'd be simple if we just keep it a simple, simple. Simple, simple, simple. That. Really? Maybe. I'm going to do it for this one entire wall and just see what I think. Or I guess side, I should say. Not wall. See if I'm happy with it or not. And it's fine. I'm not sure. It's a little flat. I was about... Hmm... Testing something. Whoop. See, that has a bit more depth to it. Depth. Oop. I want to get the pattern going. These are supposed to be... Down. And the pattern that's kind of going. And god damn it. I need to aim a little better. See, there is one music thing I'm curious about in the coming April and May, but I don't want to fully put thought into it because it's one of those things where it's just like, oh, this artist is planning to like release. Two albums in the next two months. And it's a little hard to believe. But then there's always, there's that stupid part of the brain that's just like, oh, but what if though? I don't know. I'm gonna keep my eye on that thing. I'm still personally in the camp of no fucking chance it's happening, but hey, you never know. But 99.9% .9 chance it's not happening. But if something happens with it, I'm gonna be like, oh fuck, that's cool. And then I'll talk about it later. Later, but not right now. No way. Get fucked. God damn. It. See, now I like the view. Ooh, this from the balcony. Yes, this is a good fucking choice to add this trimming of squats. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the trimming going. Oop. 
and we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do for the fucking roof of this, roof of that, yada yada, but we'll figure it out. When it comes relevant. God, I am so excited thinking about eating yogurt after this. Ah. Oh. It'd be nice. It'd be a nice refreshing thing. Hot times, refreshing sort of thing. It'd be a healthy thing. It'd be also a nice breather ever after having two fucking sandwiches earlier. You know what sandwiches I had earlier? I had motherfucking uh turkey slices. Like fucking either two or three per sandwich. And for the bread, I did rye, I think. Uh, for the cheese, I did a slice each of fucking pepper jack. I added some fucking fry sauce. Just kind of like a orangish sort of vinegar base sort of sauce. I don't know how to properly describe it past that. Uh, I also put some fucking guacamole on it. And today I ate, ate the bread and fixins just as is. I didn't toast the bread or melt the cheese, but the day before I melted the cheese and toasted the bread, and that was really good. I didn't feel like doing it today because I didn't feel like setting up the toaster and I couldn't fiddle around with fucking giving it a quick toast in the fucking oven. The oven was being used for some other thing. Though in retrospect, I could have just thrown the toaster shit in there on a different rack. But oh well, I already ate the sandwich. I can't uneat it. Uh, yeah. Yogurt. I love being an adult. Sometimes I eat fucking tremendously. Other times I eat horrendously. I think today is going to be a uh, tremendous one. Minus the chocolate milk part. But you know what? It was a nice, just refreshing drink to treat yourself to. Past that, I've only been having water for the entirety of the day. And I've been having so many cups of water. I've been hitting the ice like crazy. Also, I fucked this up. Badge. Wait, I gotta... Okay. Okay, no. Yeah, I fucked this up. Badge. I didn't start doing it. Is that right? Okay, no. What it should be is... Uh, let's get back to setting up the walls themselves. We'll come and do this part later. Gotta set up the walls. Yeah. For 52 minutes, I'll keep going. Might as well. If I don't work on anything else today past this video, I'll be happy, actually. It's nice when I don't fucking over-overdo it. Oh, wow, wow. Plus, you know what? It'd be nice to end a video and be like, ah, all the guts are hidden. Or the hotel. Or the hotel? Motherfucker, I dare you to find it. Hotel. Mario. I miss my sweet baby girl, Gmod. I need to remember, with all my might, I need to remember, after Sam and Max Season 3 shit, which is not gonna be for a while, so I'll get back to my baby girl, Gmod. Maybe I'll make it a longer video, even. There are so many, probably, new maps in the time since. Not doing any secondary- oop. Not doing any secondary video shit in between Season 1 and 2 of Sam and Max, though. Ah. Just gonna keep the Minecraft and Sam Max pattern going, which means after this Minecraft video, we're going straight into Sam Max ep uh, Season 2, Episode 1, yada yada, words, something. Ba 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 ba. I guess there are still topics I can ramble about. Fucking. Uh, no, leave that alone. Let's see. Um. Doing your own. Oh, yeah, there was a volcano high thing that made me happy. Fucking, ah, uh, fucking co op mode, co op mode, however they want to say it. That dev team, they teamed up with makeshift, makeship, even makeship, makeship. Make ship and uh, revealed a fucking little plushie of the fucking mango, the fucking, I think, velvet worm? 
fucking mango, the little worm thing. From fucking Goodbye Volcano High. That's a cute plush. Uh, I tried joining the raffle to win one. I lost. Badge. But you know what? I'm still happy to see that thing out there. I hope they succeed in their makeshift campaign. Last I saw, they still got like fucking 15 plushish days, I think? 15 plus days? And they're already, at least last I heard, was like 60% funded, so that's very fucking good. They're gonna hit that 100% easily. Uh, oh. Oh, another thing we had to fix. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. This one I am gonna fucking change. I think this one looks that way. Us. No, yeah, no. Fucking. Yeah. Oh, I did. I even did do it there. Okay. Let me check the other side real quick. Was there any other Volcano High shit? Uh, no. But that plush is Cayute. Will I get one someday? Maybe, but I'll have to convince my loving partner to get me one. And he'll probably say no, which is fully understandable. A lot more important things to spend money on. 100 fucking percent. But goddamn, if that still ain't a cute plush. Mango. Goodbye. Volcano. Hi. Ah, wah, wah. Okay, let me go back over here. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I got fill shit over here. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. What else was there? Sniffly. Uh, here, let's throw in a politics thing. Election season coming up. You know what I think? I think Biden and Trump are fucking dumb as hell. And both cannot wait until both these geezers pass from old age. There's my political thought. Most politicians are fucking scumbags. And if they're not scumbags, boy howdy will they be. Womp womp. Down the line. Oh, here's a fucking easy political one. That shit is Israel is doing? Fucking awful. Terrible. Fucking water is wet. That shit's a genocide through and through. And I know it. I know in my heart, 100 fucking percent. And seriously, 100 fucking percent. I can feel in my heart, in my lifetime, Palestine's gonna be freed. Is this shit Israel's doing? It's fucking horrendous. And I mean, bluntly, if you defend this shit, you're fucking stupid, plain and simple. But yeah, there's my political thoughts for the moment. It's nice just to air them out now and then. Especially if you scare away folks. Cause then they can just be like, fucking bye. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what other random thoughts dot the mind? I don't know. Oh! I saw some cats on my recent walks. On one of my walks, this was a walk, I think. If it was a solo, it was a solo walk, yeah. I think I was getting grocery shit on my own. And I saw one very old cat. He was like a whitish yellow color. He's kind of... It's kind of like this. I think maybe like... Oh god, how close. You see my cursor. That little blackish gray. I think it's just straight up just black. Fucking cursor. It's a tiny little plus. Small. But the yellow behind it. That specific little shade, tint, whatever fucking word is. Oh no, kitty, that yellow. And he was old. And he was meandering on, around a fucking lawn. And he was just like... Wow. And he was so old. I said hi to him. He kept making his sounds. I said bye to him. And then, like, one or two houses, I passed past that one. Then I see a younger kitty. I think a brown tabby. It made the cutest little... Cutest. Cutest little soft meow. It was a precious thing. And he really, really badly, really badly wanted to come up to me. But then every time a car passed... He would duck back under like a car nearby and then he'd meow a bunch. But then as soon as he seen the car clear, he would try to come up to me and then another car would go by and it's just repeat and repeat. And I'm just like, oh, you poor thing. And then I said bye to that kitty. That was nice. Um, I think since last video stuff, I've seen the possum 
that for better or worse is living somewhere on our property. Uh, younger thing, definitely unfortunately mangy. One night I was just sitting out there, it was like fucking past midnight, I'm just sitting out on the front porch, have a good night, air is nice and cool. I see the possum walk by, like, hey little buddy, it's minding his own business, takes a look at me, keeps going by, walks behind the trash can, I don't see him for a good 10-15 minutes, and then I see him again, a lot of them by, I say hi again, snuffles about, then he walks into our backyard, and then that's all I saw him, oops, for the rest of that night. Lovely little, lovely little mangy possum. Um, Health-wise, is he doing okay? Probably not, but from what I understand, uh, I mean, oh, I can't care for that thing. That thing's a wild animal. I ain't no fucking rehabilitation type. And I don't think we're really going to have the resources to find any fucking rehabilitation thing in the area that can care for that poor... Or little beastie. We call animal control. They're either just going to tell us to fuck off entirely or kill that thing. Which is just like, you know what? Don't want to really aid in that thing's death. He just needs a little bit of cleaning of his fur. He'll probably be, probably be better. Get him some food. But sadly, I cannot provide that myself. And neither can their roommates. We're not in a position to help with that little thing. But in the meantime. Nice seeing that little thing. Hope things pick up for him. Hope he finds something nice and juicy to eat on and feels good. Maybe someone else will find him, take him in, and do him up all good. Maybe. Nifty. Oh, we are at an hour and two minutes on my end. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Fuck it. Why not? At least I don't gotta do any chores after this because I already did that shit earlier in the day. Which is a smarter move these days. It allows me more time to just fucking relax after a video. All coming together bit by bit. Oh wow wow wow. Let's see what other what other thoughts. The recurring topic of what do I want to talk about? Funny, sad, whatever. But I mean, I don't know. Um, I wonder. I had a thought lingering in my mind. And it's like, I wonder if I could do this or not. I wonder if I can get out like a small, small music release until my next ones. Cause it's just like, okay. If I'm doing this shit where it's like, okay, let me make like a small, lower effort game, but still put my heart and soul into it. Uh, like, can I do that for music too? And it's just like, I don't know, maybe? And it's like, if I do that, it would have to be like, fucking, I don't know. Oh, training. I don't know. Because the last music efforts were me making a fucking soundtrack for my visual novel. Enchanted Bliss, and we're still very early development for that fucking game. I have not worked on it in a long while. I will get back to it at some point. It's just I'm putting off working on it because fucking have to do. Okay, no, we don't want to do this part. I'd have to do fucking art assets for it, specifically character fucking rights, I guess, in a visual novel sense. And uh, Misa not feeling doing that yet because that's gonna. It's going to be a very involved process, to say the least. That's why I kind of shifted to polar development of Hollow Discharge, finally, this fucking month. Ta -da! But I mean, past making that soundtrack shit, and it's just like, shit, making that soundtrack shit, that's going to fucking take a long time. Mostly because I ain't releasing the soundtrack until the game is done, and it's going to take a fucking long time for the game to be done. Theoretically, I could finish the soundtrack before then, but it ain't going to be released before then. And I am not the type to release singles for music. Likewise, I am not the type to release fucking... Oops. To release 
fucking demos for games. I don't know. I like to get things in a fully, fully, fully done state. And kind of use the process of when I'm making, working on them to make sure it's release ready as much as possible. You would not believe the amount of fucking bug testing I do for my fucking game shit. Oh lord. Typo shit might fall through the cracks, but as long as it's not fucking with code, that's fine. But when it's like proper code shit, like setting up scripting and the like, that's where I make sure to fucking kick myself in high gear. It's like, okay, we're adding the stuff to it. Test, 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 test. And I've gotten better at bug testing, which is like, fuck, it's still a very involved process. Uh, and I try my best. This hollow discharge is the one thing where it's like, fuck. We have to be very smart with sequencing on this, because we don't want to accidentally allow sequence breaking. We want to make sure to check for shit to prevent that. But yeah. Yeah, small music things. Like, fuck. What could I do? Always the prospect of an EP, but even then it's just like, my rule with EPs, and I think I've released two EPs? I think my rule with EPs has been, okay, go for 10 tracks, go for 20 total minutes of length. I think I followed that rule precisely, with a little bit of bleeding over time-wise, but not track number-wise, for both my EPs. Fucking Riding Confusion and uh, Under Stardust. Like, what small thing can I do? Don't want to do a single. If I do a thing, I want it to at least be maybe like, maybe a more casual EP. Like, maybe just five tracks for a thing. Still find a way to put my heart and soul in it. Find, find some in between of not working myself to the bone. And not just making something make something, but like also, I don't know. Heart and soul, not working self to the bone. Not making something just for making something's sake. Something that really stands out. Something that I can look back on and be like, yeah, I'm proud of that. I don't know. I'm gonna figure out for game stuff. That's what I'm doing in the fucking Lipsy one. I could see myself realistically put like, what, three or four days into working on shifts in Blipsy. Like, I could see myself getting that done within the next couple weeks and release. I'll be proud of it. It'll be the first proper, proper... 2D game and not just a text focused fucking thing for me. That'd be a fucking fun. And it's me trying a new thing too, especially. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah! It'd be one hell of a trick to see if I can make a kinky game in it. I probably could. But fuck me, I'm gonna have to be creative and try to figure that out properly. Yeah, we're definitely... Yeah, we're 108 on my end right now. Yeah. We're purposely going over the hour mark. Let's make this count. <laughs> Sniffly. Alright, I don't gotta do that part. Oops. You know, I wonder if I'd ever be able to, like, get myself to a point. I'm thinking of bite-sized game stuff. It's like, would I be the type to ever let myself get to a point where, like, doing a fucking small, like, game collab thing, contest, what have you, that would, like, fucking, I don't know. That would feel like a heart and soul thing, but also be able to actually work on it during that time period. I wonder. That is a thing to consider for the future. Boy, howdy, will I consider. Yeah. Nice. I like talking about my work. It helps keep me reminded on what's ahead versus what's already been done and kind of reflecting upon that. It's nice to share it with friends, partner, roommates if they're interested. Uh, the viewer, you, however few of you that are watching, or however many. Never say never. Uh, nice to share with everyone.
aber Gababa. Oh, I've made good progress on my fucking webcomic. I think last I checked. I think we're 62 pages. We're either 62 or 63. I think we're 62 pages into my webcomic. And I mean that as like fully drawn, written for, and posted. You can literally go in my fucking video description right now. Check out my card that's linked in there. Find the link to Just Another Day in my card list, which is Just Another Day is the webcomic. And there's fucking 62 pages in there. God damn. And I'm making good progress. Uh, obviously making good progress, but also I'm having fun experimenting with different things. Putting in more effort in that fucking abstract, minimal sort of neon style that I'm doing. It's just like, oh, I'm absurdly fucking proud of that webcomic. I've come so far with it. And I'm gonna keep going. I can realistically see myself sometime this year hitting 100 pages for it and just being like, fucking wow. How many more past that? Don't know, because I have no idea how many pages I want to go until I end it. But... Once the web comic's done, that's done. As of right now, that is just gonna be the only web comic I plan to ever make. But we'll see if that changes. Get one done first, and then we'll see where that goes. But also, let's stop. Let's stop to look for a moment. It's like, holy shit. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Look at that. A full. Full fucking exterior. There's little bits of, like, roofing shit that needs to be finished, but it's just like, fuck. This is... This makes me so proud. Ah. Uh, the fact that I've done this shit on fucking video, it's just like, ah. Uh, the great feeling. It's a really, really great feeling. Like, holy shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Now I see where I do need to fix some stuff. Let's grab that and we'll finish off some parts. And then, uh... Unsure, I might call it? I might keep going? We'll see. There's definitely... Oh, hello. Definitely progress that could still be made. Me thinks. Oh, one thing I gotta say I'm fucking happy for, and you know what, I don't care, I'm gonna say it, I've already talked about NSFW stuff before, my work is geared towards an adult audience. My videos are not made for kids. My work is geared towards an adult audience, yada yada, and all that fucking jazz. God, I fucking, uh, one of my friends was doing a fucking thing where it's just like, hey yo, I'm doing a fucking big kinky art piece. Who wants to submit their characters for it to be part of it? I submitted a character, and boy howdy did one of my characters make it into it. And it's just like, fuck. I'm really at this point as an artist, where with fellow artists, and fellow folks in kinky fucking art communities, where my characters are getting to be part of like big collabs like that, it's like fucking wonderful, great, what a time to be alive. I, I feel fucking tremendous. That was nice. I want to handle um, Thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, oh, we are gonna have to also. Our. How do we want to handle this? I could have this be like a kind of stair thing. And then just fucking... No, 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 no. No, no, no. What we want to do is, like, fucking... I think I'm thinking this out carefully. Don't take... Here, you know what, since we don't- so we don't forget about it. Tell me bouncing about between different words there. Oh! I was about to type in bone rot, Jesus Christ. Throw you... Throw you right here. Pretty up this little area in between. 
The great question is, who tends to this area and how? That question will not be answered. Uh, okay, I'm going to get carried away if I start doing those little parts, so not yet for that. Okay, uh, want that to be there. Life's good. Sometimes life is shit. Sometimes life's fucking good. And lately I'd like to think life's fucking good. Um, okay, I think I'm going to do, oop. Actually, no, yeah, that would be like that. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's good. Then let's try... Then, uh, ba 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 ba. We figuring it out. Purposely going a bit over time, yada 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 yada. Feeling great, feed line fun. I wonder if I can ever do a thief one run on here. Or would that get my ass fucking beat and it would be miserable? I don't know. I guess it depends on what difficulty I'd play and if I'd. I don't know. I haven't fully beaten Thief is the problem. Got pretty far, but I stopped at some point to start a harder run, and then I burnt myself out trying to do a harder run. Because it's stupid. Uh, what's going on there? Okay, no, that's fine. You just want to leave this like that? Maybe? I don't know, I'm just... I'm sure if I'll add anything else to this. Maybe, maybe when I finish the hotel, I can put a big fucking lit up sign thing here. So you know what? That'll be a thing to come back to later. That way, we change our mind on it, this part's still finished, and if we want to do it, then we can add to it. And that'll be later. That'd be a nice way to cap off the hotel shit. But not yet. I gotta finish the fucking hotel. Cool. Piece of chunk of stuff to do. Also, I gotta fill in the inside parts. Ha, ha, ha. Like it, I like it. Ah, oh, let's not cover that part. Let's see about filling up, yeah, these parts. Before we call it. Oop. Sniffly. Also. A little bit of stair stuff to add. We're gonna go pretty long with this one, I'm thinking. I'm motivated. I wanna push it. I wanna go far. Baby, you can drive my far. Car. La. Wow. Funny noise. You know, I was thinking. I saw some stupid fucking AI video thing with like fucking AI commentary in it for Minecraft. It was so fucking goofy. If it was just a parody thing, good fucking parody. Good bait, too, if it was parody. But if it was supposed to be legitimate, it's just like, man, this is a fucking goofy. But then again, it's like, I'm listening, it's like, shit. This is kind of like commentary on both how AI reads fucking human shit, and also commentary on Minecraft fucking YouTubers. <laughs> womp womp. Or maybe, like, generic fucking... YouTubers in general. I think my thought on, like, the AI shit is just, like... I think I've said this before, but it's like, if you're using it for a serious thing, it's just, like, lame. Get real humans to do the job. Either learn to do it yourself, or find people to help you on it. Can't pay them? 
pull back the scope and find people that are willing to volunteer for it. Provided it's a free thing. If it's a paid thing, you gotta give them fucking money. Give them money. Pay your workers. But, yeah. Once it's just, like, goofy shit, it's just like, okay, it's kind of harmless. It's kind of whatever. I don't know. But it's just like, fuck. Once it comes into serious projects, it's just like, nah. Learn the sh Put the time to learn something. Or get help from people to help you do it. And treat them with respect, and if you can, fucking pay them. But yeah. AI shit is being pushed very fucking hard. I saw that there was a movie that wanted to... A fucking, I think a movie that already came out, some horror movie. That wanted to do AI fucking transition screen shit, and it's just like, this looks awful, man. This looks fucking stupid. It's odd, too, because it's just like, what? You're already doing so much of the real movie, could you not just fucking set up a scene and photograph it? Uses your fucking transition things. Like, at that point, it's just like, shit, if you can't do that, that's... That is peak fucking lazy, my man. I don't know. How about Gababa? Trying to look at this fucking shit to understand what I did. Oh, did I fully set this one up, too? Okay, I did. Okay, so it's... All right. Under the window like that. Uh, what about above it? One above it, one below it. Okay, I see. So that would be one above it. Wait, one above it would be like this, right? Like that, and the one below it would be like this. I think the funniest part of this AI shit is that, and a lot of other people have been noticing, there are some people that are so, unfortunately, very creatively bankrupt, or more so devoid of creativity, I should say. I think it's a better way of describing it. Fully devoid of creativity, that they can't even figure out how to even fucking do their own little prompt things. Like, it's like, one's like, okay, the AI shit... Like, oh, me feed it prompt. This is my work. It's just like, shut the fuck up. Make a shit post instead. Don't try to pawn that as your art. Then to see that there's people that are just like, haha, um, if you were to describe this real art piece, ha, what would you fucking say for it? Can you describe it as like in a prompt form? I'm totally not gonna plug this into my AI thing. Because I can't fucking think of a prompt myself because I'm stupid. It's just like, man. Man, it's funny. Someday these people will just have to fucking learn how to do art themselves. That AI bubble is going to fucking crash. Well, burst, I should say. Womp. Womp womp. And Hello. Look at this! Look at this! Ah! Oh. Aw. Oh. Fuck, hold on, I gotta like... Okay, no. I don't wanna handle this. Yeah, not that, okay. Think it for a second. Do I wanna call this? I mean, we got all this filled in, and then we got all that other shit. Elevator shit would have to save for the next video. Yes, yeah, so I think next Minecraft one, which will be two videos from now. Figure out the rest of the elevator, connect it between the floors, and make it look all proper. I still want to keep this kind of weird metal design, because it is really fucking cool. And I like what's going on here. I want to keep that metal design. Finish off what it is for one of them. Copy it to the fake floor. Copy it to the real floor. Uh, oh, we'll close this off. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That is that is correct. You were thinking of the other area. I think. Beautiful. Let's see. We'll talk to uh, tackle the elevators. And then, I'm trying to think. 
Am I gonna want to give amenities to the hotel? Like, do I want to throw like, ooh, what? If I do amenities, maybe I could throw like a dining hall, fucking exercise, and then maybe a pool. Yeah. You know what? I think because it'll be funny. Oh, there's all the different signs. Uh. Future me is going to forget this. Uh, do I want to do exercise? Oh shit! I have to do a bathroom shit for this one as well. Not me going to the bathroom. I mean, fucking set up bathroom shit here. Uh, oh, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't want to put that. I mean, do I want to put laundry? Do I want to put... That's going to be an interesting one to figure out. Can I copy? Wait, if I... Fuck, I kind of was hoping. Um, and I'm thinking, what? Roughly the spot of it, we'll see. Back parking lot will be like employees only shit. Okay. Yeah, roughly so. Each floor will have a restroom thing and elevators. Main floor of the fucking dining, dining hall and kitchen. Maybe. Fucking laundromat of sorts. Whatever the fuck they call the laundry services. Maybe. Exercise services. Maybe. Excuse me. Pool stuff. Back parking lot. Okay. Elevators. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good enough to call it as we approach the hour 30 mark. Clean out my fucking inventory. Figure that. And then the roof will be dead last, the main roof. And uh I think you know since we've done one like this. Let's see if I fall right here. Let's get like I'll move this shit after I finish the video. Gotta be perfect. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Perfect. Goodbye, bye. The video ends now. It's over. What you think?